Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobelman. In today's video, I will show you how to recover a Wi-Fi password. This is not one of those videos where I show you how to hack your neighbor's Wi-Fi or how to hack a public Wi-Fi or anything like that. This is specifically to show you how to recover or show your own password for your Wi-Fi. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, why would I need to know what my own Wi-Fi password is if I'm already connected? Well, the thing is though, if you want to share that password and let somebody else connect to your network, and if you've forgotten it, this is how you will find out what your Wi-Fi password is. Also, if somebody else set up your internet connection, your Wi-Fi, and they didn't show you what the password is or you didn't write it down, this is how you will find out what that is. Again, this video is not to show you how to hack somebody's or a public Wi-Fi at all. This is just an educational purposes thing that you can do by yourself. All right. The first thing we need to do is open up a command line and this is going to be very simple. We just have to make sure that our command line, also known as DOS, is run as administrator. We're going to type in a simple command that will allow us to see which profiles we have used at some point to connect to specific Wi-Fi networks. So for that to happen, we have to type in N-E-T-S-H space W-L-A-N space S-H O space and then type in profile as the string of words here indicates this means we're going to show all the LAN profile or I should say wireless LAN profiles that you have used at some point so we're going to hit enter here and now we can see all the profiles that I have connected to at some point so what can we do here well we know that we have connected to them at some point meaning that at some point we also had type had to type in a password for each one of those if it was secure of course and then we know that every time we connect to that wi-fi uh, later we don't have to constantly type in the password and that's the, exactly the point of these profiles meaning that these profiles here will have those passwords stored inside. So now we got to do is open up these profiles so that we can see what the password is. So that way we can take that password and connect other computers to that same network. So in order to do this, we have to type in a similar command. And what that's going to do is uh, dump the entire profiles onto something that we can read. So what we're going to do is type in N-E-T-S-H-W-L-A-N and then we're going to type in export and then profile. You get it? We're going to export the profiles that are already there inside the computers. However, we do have to specify where we want to dump them. So we're going to specify, we're going, we want you to type it into a folder. So we're going to type in folder and then we're going to say equals and then specify which folder that is. So we're just going to dump it into root of C because that's the simplest thing we can do. So we're going to type in C colon. Let me make it a cap so you don't have to. This is just me showing it for the video. So C colon and then we're going to do backslash and then we're going to space and then we're going to type in key and then we're going to type in equals clear meaning this is going to show us a key or as in password for this when it's dumped so we're going to hit enter and this is going to dump all of three all three of these profiles here it's going to dump it into the root of c that we have specified so when we hit enter and there it is it went ahead and dumped them all into the root of c you can see what the path is just in case so we know that it's XML type of file. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Go to our root of C. We're going to go to the C drive. And now we can see here, here, here are the profiles that are dumped with every information about that network. We can see there's FZ80, uh, 3135, uh, BD2, and there's one without the two. And there's one called police scan. So these are all the network I have, all the Wi-Fi networks that I have connected in the past. So let me show you first one here, just so you can tell the difference. This, if you double click it, it's going to open up automatically in your internet browser because it's an XML file. Of course, you can open it up in Notepad if you'd like. But we can see here what type of a network this was. The main thing we need to 
uh, kind of concentrate here is on authentication. And we can see here when I connected to this that it was open network. That means there was no password required. And you can see the there's no encryption because there's no uh, it's it just wasn't secured at all. And there's just no key to be found. However, if we go to the one that's labeled two and double click that. And these are just example I'm, I'm showing you. Chances are yours will be straight up like the second one. We can see now that this network actually had authentication. And it says here that it's this is WPA2 PSK authentication. And it's the AES encryption type. And we can also see that the key type was a passphrase. And then we can see what the key material is. And it's exactly that. That would be our Wi-Fi password for this specific network. So it's ABD AD7 AF 3135BD. So make sure that you look under key material here and we'll give you the password for your Wi-Fi. This is one of those quick tips that I wanted to make a video about because yes, sometimes we do forget our own Wi-Fi password and chances are that maybe somebody else set up our Wi-Fi for us and now we have somebody else who wants to connect to a, a your Wi-Fi at home for example or you want to take your second computer connected to the Wi-Fi but you may not know what the Wi-Fi password is and of course this is very educational for those people who might be starting into you know starting to learn about networking and this and that if you want to check out i have a lots of videos on networking that is some really good educational um, stuff that you you know you can learn from possibly anyways guys thank you so much for watching please take a moment to leave a like if you have any questions or comments i always like to see those Thank you. Please share this video with your friends that may have also forgotten their passwords. All right. Thank you so much for watching and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.